Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As we saw in the previous lesson, you can use the resource usage view of your project file to examine resource allocation. You can also make manual adjustments to the over-allocated work resources in order to ensure that they remain fully allocated based on the units of work available. In addition to manually correcting over-allocated resources, you can automatically level over-allocated resources in Microsoft Project. When you automatically level resource over-allocations, Microsoft Project will either delay the start times of tasks, delay the work resource assignments for a task, or split task durations in order to resolve the conflicts. It will not change task assignments or unit values of those assignments. If you wish to resolve resource overallocation by assigning additional work resources, you must do that manually. To set the parameters used to automatically resolve resource overallocations, you can click the Leveling Options button that appears in the Level button group on the Resource tab within the ribbon to open the Resource Leveling dialog box. This dialog box allows you to control the processes and guidelines that Microsoft Project will use when performing the resource leveling. Note that the settings that you make here will be applied to all project files that you use, and not just the currently selected project file. For this reason, it is recommended that you do not select the automatic choice within the resource leveling dialog box, as that will apply resource leveling in all project files, whether you want it or not, which can cause more problems than it corrects. Leave the manual option shown in the leveling calculations section selected in order to allow for resource leveling only when you select to apply it. Next, use the Look for Over Allocations on a dropdown to select the basis to be used for resource over allocation examination. Note that choosing a level of inspection that is finer than a day-by-day -day basis may result in many unnecessary adjustments to the work schedule, so use care if selecting a level of inspection that's finer than the day-by-day -day basis. Next, decide whether or not you wish to remove any leveling adjustments before applying the new leveling. If you wish to clear old leveling adjustments before applying the leveling adjustments that you're about to create, then leave the Clear Leveling Values Before Leveling checkbox checked. Next, in the Leveling Range 4 section, you can set the specific range of leveling to use within this project file. If you wish to level the whole project, then leave the Level Entire Project option selected. Otherwise, you can use the From and To dropdowns in order to select a range within the project file to inspect. You next choose the guidelines to use for leveling from the choices shown in the Resolving Over Allocation section of the Resource Leveling dialog box. For most projects, ensure that the standard choice is selected from the Leveling Order drop-down. This resource leveling method respects the task relationships between the tasks in your project file and is therefore the most commonly used. Next, if you want to allow the leveling to only use the available free slack within the project file, then select the Level Only Within Available Slack checkbox. This choice is most often unchecked in order to allow Microsoft Project to extend the finished date of the project file in order to resolve over allocations. Often there is not enough free slack within a project file to allow for resolution of over allocated resources without extending the finish date. You can check the Leveling can adjust individual assignments on a task checkbox in order to allow project the ability to add leveling delay to individual work resource assignments on a task independently of the other assigned work resources. You can check the leveling can create splits in remaining work checkbox to allow project to split a task or work assignment on a task in order to resolve resource over allocation. If you are using Microsoft Project Professional, you may also see a Level Resources with the proposed Booking Type checkbox. You will most often leave this checkbox cleared when leveling resources. 
You can also check the Level Manually Scheduled Tasks checkbox to include manually scheduled tasks in the leveling process within this project file. Next, click the Level All button when you're ready to level the entire project file. Doing this corresponds to clicking the Level All button that appears in the Level group on the Resource tab in the ribbon. Also note that you can choose the Level Selection and Level Resource buttons in the same button group to level a selected task or resource within your project file if you wish to manually level resources one at a time. If you decide to manually level each resource or task individually within a project file, you can also use the Next Over Allocation button in this button group to select the next resource over allocation to resolve. You can also clear a resource leveling that you have applied by clicking the Clear Leveling button in this button group. When you do this, a Clear Leveling dialog box will appear where you can choose either the entire project or selected tasks. Simply make your choice and then click the OK button to remove the resource leveling that you have applied. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.